have an addiction to makeup. I wear it 24 seven. So I'm here to find out from the psychologist why I am this way. What is it that you think the makeup does for you? I just think the makeup makes me feel more attractive mm -hmm. as I'm getting older. What do you think would happen if you didn't wear makeup? I feel if I'm caught without my makeup, I will have an anxiety attack. Mm -hmm. Like, oh wow, I don't look good, I don't look presentable. Do you think people judge you or do you think that you're judging yourself? I'm probably judging myself more than anything. Maureen's a very harsh critic of herself. She equates looking a certain way with her self-worth. The danger of basing how you feel on how you look is eventually it's not going to be good enough. I'm going to do a little exercise, OK? OK. Um, I, want you to, I want you to hold the mirror. I want you to describe yourself, whatever comes to mind. Blonde hair, blue eyes. OK. Um, a mother. OK. A friend. OK. An aunt, a cousin. All right. You know, it's interesting. You initially saw yourself the physical appearance, but then you realize that you're more than that. Yes. The makeup doesn't actually define who you are, does it? You're still a mother, you're still an aunt, you're still a cousin, you're still a good friend without the makeup. There might be an approach that you can take where maybe you use a little bit of makeup or maybe you're a little more subtle in how you apply it. Would you consider that? Maybe day by day where I'll a little less to maybe one day not wear any makeup at all. If you're able to make small changes, that's going to be good. OK. Gradually. I have confidence that Maureen can change her narrative. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work at first, but as she starts to see the positive result, uh, I think that will motivate her more and more. When I first try to go out of the house without makeup, it may be a little difficult, but I'm certainly going to try that.